Hello, guys. Um, new time. Same place, new time. Who is on? Hi, Emmy. From Raleigh. Di um, Sheila's here and saying hi to Diane. Jennifer's on. Marie's on. Uh, people have already ordered the shoes. Marianne from South Jersey. Um, today is a shoe launch. That's it. Just shoes. Because um, I feel like we've been waiting, you and I and all of us, have been waiting for these to launch for forever. Um, two, we've been showing them to you for forever. I think we've been styling them. I mean, I've been wearing them for like a year. And um, we've been putting them on the models for easily like eight months or longer. So um, basically being that they're so very late and um, knowing how bad you want them, I'm just, I told you, we would launch them as soon as, as, soon as we possibly could. So here we are on a Tuesday at two o'clock to launch some, some shoes. So it's just me today. No, you guys just have me, um, but we're going to talk about them. I'm going to show them to you. I have them on my feet so you can see them. Um, sorry, Sarah's going to Sarah's gonna come back. And she, I'm like, when I go back, go into my feet when I come forward, but I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of back and forth, so she's going to switch the camera like a speedy woman back there. Um, okay, so let's get started. Our first ever Grace and Lace sneakers. Yay! <laughs> Where's all the, I need the confetti. Who can throw confetti at me? <laughs> um, so, two different kinds, same style, but there are differences. Okay, so we have the gold and we have the gray. And we're going to talk about fit, we're going to talk about styling, we're going to talk about um, what makes them different. So, let's start with what makes them different, then we'll go into fit. So, you guys, the gold version, which I want, I have the gold on now. I've worn the gold and the tar, like, out of the gold and gray for forever. In fact, here's my, here's my gray, my personal gray that are, you know, worn, okay? Um, and my gold are as well, and those ones, the ones that are on my feet. But, okay, so we wanted to do two different kinds to kind of meet you both. So the star shoe trend is a big trend in shoes, but it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Okay. You guys might have heard of like golden goose who sells these things, distressed shoes for like upwards of $800 or more. Um, but it's a neutral sneaker that gives you just kind of a pop. Okay. So the, the gold is a glitter. This is a glitter star. It is on there. Good. It's not going to come off. <laughs> um, and then it's got shiny gold detail in the back. And that's about, that's what makes this the gold. We wanted to also offer you, for those of you who weren't like sparkly, shiny person, okay, um, an option for maybe a more neutral version, which is what the gray is. So the gray star is a suede star and then a matching suede back here at the heel. Okay, now these ones are totally clean. These are not distressed. So you'll see here, see how the coloring is ivory all the way through. Then we have a, uh, we go to a little bit of a cream. This suede material here is also on the suede, is a suede placket right here that runs on the laces. This is kind of like a cream. I think we just call it a cream. We wanted these to be very neutral, wear with everything, not feel like you're flashy or shiny or whatever. For those of you who are like maybe new to the star shoe trend. Okay. Um, so that's this one is your neutral version this has no distressing it's fully clean you can see the sole here is very clean we did distress up the star okay you're gonna see this is um like a grayish or kind of like a denim we wanted this to already look well i'm gonna show you my shoe <laughs> okay it already kind of starts off on that worn look Okay, that's the trend, that's the thing that's in, is the worn shoe look. I know some of you are probably like, I like my shoes clean. That's, that's the thing is to kind of have distressed shoes, okay? Um, so you can see, these these are mine, <laughs> these I've worn a bazillion times. Um, we wanted that little bit of already kind of starting that contrast in the sole of the shoe. So where the gold star has um, coloring, can you see? Can you see this sole? I, it's hard to show this on camera and it's hard to show it in pictures. Maybe you can see it here. Okay. So this is already kind of pre-distressed 
pre-scuffed, okay, with like that kind of denim, denim gray color. You also are going to have a little bit of, I, it's called distressing, but honestly, we, it's like the better word for it is contouring because it kind of does the same thing like makeup does with contouring. You get a little bit of that shaded kind of coming up on the toe, a little bit over by here, a little bit on the inside. I don't know if it's showing up. Let me see if I can get, maybe this one will show it a little bit better. Okay, so where the gray pair does not have that. Well, maybe you can see. This is just, has, has no color. There you go. You guys can see the difference between those, right? Okay, so this has started the aging process of the shoe. That kind of fits with the trend. You're going to get just some scuff marks, okay? That's all just kind of that contouring to help with that, I don't know, pre aging okay to look kind of vintage look like you've already worn these things in is really the intent of that okay so what shoe did i have this is my other shoe um sizing wise so um oh and then the laces are the same color on both they are full um regular lace-up shoes so you lace them like normal i'm going to show you a couple of different ways i do this on mine but i also hide the laces which i'll show you how to do um if you want to hide the laces they have a, sorry, there's still more features I missed. Um, there's a cushioned insole. I'm going to take out for you, okay? So here is the cushioned insole. This is a squishy type of material. The footbed is inside of that. We made this removable. A lot of shoes don't have this removable. We made it on purpose for those of you who have maybe orthotics or custom insoles or need arch support or something like that. You can put your... I, wait, I don't need arch support. I've worn these. I've worn these through airports. I've worn them all day on photo shoots. I've worn, I mean, all day, every day. They're like my all day, every day shoe. But if you have like high arches, my sister does, things like that, where you have your own, own insole, this has room where you can put your own insole into the shoe. So if you're like, I need, need that, then it's customizable for you to put yours in. Okay. Um, laces are, this is the thing, okay? This is, this gray lace trend is, that's what this is supposed to look like. This is supposed to look like these $800 shoes that are not $800, um, that has this kind of, you know, gray lace. Of course, if you want white laces, you could replace them, whatever your preference. I just want to tell you and show you how they come. That's how they come. So laces are full laces. Um, let's talk about fit. Ah, uh, you guys, I know. I'm sneaking. I did it. I'm sneaking. You've seen it on me before. This is hopefully coming this week. So there should be a launch on Friday. And we are really hoping this will be in it. I'm sneaking it too because I knew this was just a shoe launch and you guys might want another little boost. Okay. Um, sizing wise. I'm going to back up. Sarah, come, come with me. <laughs> okay. I am normally a six and a half shoe. This is the six and a half in these. Um, I would say they run true to size, maybe a hair big. I'm going to come forward. Sir. Um, they are, they, they kind of accommodate wider feet. Okay. We didn't do a really super narrow shoe. So if you have a wider foot, this can work for wider feet, although they're not quote unquote a wide shoe for that reason. For those of you who have narrow feet, they might feel a little bit big. Now I don't lace mine up. Okay, you guys can see, I'm going, going back. <laughs> Sarah, I don't lace mine up. I don't tighten the laces. I just slip my foot in. There's my no-show sock, you guys. That's the socks you should wear with these. I just slip these on and off, okay? Just like that. I don't even reach down. I don't even tie them. I don't have time to tie, <laughs> tie shoes, okay? So that's what I do. So you can tell and you can see I've got some, oh, I just lost my screen. Am I still up? Yeah. Um, I have some width in here, but that it's comfortable. It stays on my foot. If I wanted them tight to my foot, am I still on? Okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. No. <laughs> I've got a black screen. Um, I would just tighten all these laces up like normal. Okay. But I don't do that because I like the slip on factor. Um, so if you are, oh, there I am. I'm back. <laughs> yes, Jana, I have just no show socks. These are from, these are actually my favorite no show socks. VIPs, I should, these are from Amazon, um, and they have those little rubbery grips in these, them, 
so that they stay on and don't slide down and they just uh, I will I'll have the girls link these on the VIP page if you want to know what no-show socks are those normally I wear white I have like one pair of all my white ones are dirty so these are the nude ones but I love these because they don't slide off your heel a lot of the no-show socks like slip and slide and then they fall under the arch of your foot um, I got them on Amazon go to our VIP page I'll have the girls um, link them from Amazon from the, the ones that I get because I get these in packs of like 20 or something like that okay um okay sorry going back to fit so I if you are if if you say so sometimes I say or like some people will say I'm sometimes a six and a half or some a six and a half or seven like when someone asks you what size shoe do you wear and some people usually some people say I'm a six and a half or a seven if you are a type who says or a size go with your lower size okay unless you have a wider foot if you if you say you're an or size and have a wider foot then go with your upper size holly make sure i'm saying this right i'm trying to memorize all this this bit okay um if you have a narrow foot so narrow foot or regular foot and some sometimes say or go with your smaller size okay um, what, what blend of, guys, I'll link my socks to the VIP page, so make sure you're on our VIP page. Um, Melda says, can you wear a size 6? I can fit my foot into a size 6. So here's the thing, you guys, I'm pretty much standard a 6.5 across the board. I want, usually I want to say I'm a 7 because that's like a more common size for a foot, but really 7s in anything, and like, uh, like, like my boots, some of them are 7s but they're, they're too big. Like I'm not really ever a seven. Um, I can be a six in some styles, but not, that's only if like there's a clearance, a shoe on clearance. And I'm like, I'm going to go shop the size six clearance. So my toe, my foot and toe is definitely to the top of a size six. I can do it, but it feels like if I were to have both the six and a half, the six and the six and a half, I would buy the six and a half because this, the six feels too small, but I'm, I'm pretty much always, I never, I, I never say I'm a six and a half or a seven, if that makes sense. I always say, or a, I never say I'm a six or six and a half. I'm pretty much straight across the board, a six and a half, okay? So if you say you're an or size, if you are an or size, this size or this size, go with your lower size of that, okay? Okay. Um, giant feet to narrow heels and toes. Um, does, if you have a wider foot, I would go, and you're an or size, I would go with your upper size. If you have a regular foot or a narrow foot, go with your size down, half size down size, okay? Okay, can you, I know you guys have questions. There are measurements on the website. The measurements measure the insole of the shoe. So this removable insole, this is the measurement for the size, what size is this? This is six and a half. This is this measurement for this insole. That's what that measurement is. So you are going to have a bit more toe room off the front of the toe um, because that insole obviously doesn't, like it's the bottom of the shoe does not obviously go to the edge of the sole, okay? Okay, Lucy, my feet, I would say I have a very normal foot. I don't have a wide foot. I wouldn't say my, my foot is super narrow. Um, I would say it's pretty normal. Um, I can, these fit me perfectly. Can you this, you can't see the oh, I can see, I can see myself. Yeah. Um, these fit me perfectly. Like I said, I've worn these all over. The only thing is if I did want to secure them, I like that I can slip in and out of these really easy. Like that's, that's kind of the whole, the whole point of me having a really, um, easy shoe to put on lengthwise. They are perfect. If I wanted them more snug, like I think, I know I walked through the airport just like this. Um, if I wanted more snug, I would just tighten the laces, okay? So, and that would make them, there we go, okay? Like a normal, like how you would normally tie, can you guys see me? I can't see you. <laughs> that would be um, tightening the laces would make them fit. Obviously, I know then, then my width is correct. I just choose to like have these a little bit more grunged out and casual and easy to slip, easy to slip on. Okay. Can I, um, oh, they come in, you guys, if you bought our sandals, they come in our nice little um, travel shoe protector bag. Okay. So they're going to come to you just like that, all cinched up in here. 
um, keep this bag. I cannot tell you how much stuff I literally have when we were just at Disney with the kids. I put their, I put their socks and underwear in this stuff. I put like, I cannot tell you how many things I put in here and keep in these little bags that you can travel with. And then at the end of traveling or whatever, and you have dirty shoes, okay, then they don't ruin, you just put them back in the bag and you don't even have to use our shoes, for <laughs> sitting shoes for this, okay? Um, you can put them back in the bag and um, then you don't get your dirty feet, stinky feet, whatever, <laughs> dirty end of end of the sole, um, the soles all over your clothes and your bag. Okay, they come in that. Um, any other questions? Styling wise, you guys both are very neutral. I mean, obviously the star is going to give you that shimmery, shiny aspect, but you know you can wear this with this outfit. You could still get that star pop. This one has that little bit of just two-tone uh, cream to ivory right there. Has the more neutral fit. They both fit the same, so order your same size in both. Just going to be preference if you prefer this kind of already little bit aged, little bit stressed, look distressed, look like they've already been worn um, with this distressing that's you know on this on the sole on the shoe a little bit contouring you call it. Um, okay. Oh, how to tie. Okay, I was going to show you guys how to tie. You guys didn't know you're going to get a bonus lesson how to tie. Okay. Um, I like to hide the laces. We hide the laces for our models, and that's how um, my gray pair has the hidden laces. Um, but I did the knotted laces on this, and I'll show you in a second. So how to hide the laces. They're going to come laced like this. Take out your insole. Okay. Drop your laces down inside your shoe, around the tongue, so they fall down. Okay. And then just put your insole in. Okay, I know that's gonna look funny. I know you're like, why am I putting my insole on top of my laces? You're not gonna feel it, okay? Okay, so your shoelaces then run from, ooh, there you can see that, run down into there, and you don't even feel them, okay? So if you like the no laces look, that is a thing, okay? If you don't wanna tie, if you wanna slip on, you can also make this like the desired tightness and then just then, you know, put your excess laces down inside of there, but they're underneath this kind of squishy insole and you won't feel them. Okay. That's one way. The next way is to make these little knotted things. I don't even know what they're called, you guys, but this is what they look like. They're just like a no tie. They're like a no tie dangle. <laughs> no tie dangle. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that's called. We can just go with no tie dangle, right? Okay, so you um, you will have to reverse your laces. Your laces are on the revert, like the inside, the going out and coming in. That's how they're tied and come to you that way. If you wanna reverse them and do with a normal, the inside going out and around, um, you will have to do that at least to the last, I just did that here, to the last loop or last hole because you need these coming out and not going in. So, oh, curly cue. I like that, Sarah. It's good. Okay, what I do here to make those is you're just gonna loop where you want the where you want the lace to stay. Okay, make a loop. Oh, I wish I had. This might be a little bit hard to do holding it up. Okay, I think I got it. I'm holding it with these ones. Okay, you make your little loop at close to the edge. Okay, you're gonna take this excess. That loop is a little bit high. Okay, and you're just gonna wrap. So I'm going to wrap around and around. Don't look at my fingernails, you guys. They are so chipped and jinky. Okay, you're going to go, do you guys see this? Up and around. Keep going closer to the top. And when you get to the top, you're going to take this and go in to that little, just the little top of the loop. Okay? And... Hold on. It's kind of hard to do holding that. Okay. And then you just pull it tight. Okay. And then it just kind of creates, I didn't start it off tight enough. You want to start off, sorry, I'm going to set it down here. You want to start your, your first wrap. I undid it. This you want to start really tight. So go like two or three times around that bottom or like close to the, closer to the Eyelet, and then work your way up to the top. 
Sorry, guys, I wish you could see that. <laughs> I totally, Christy, I totally did this way back in the day. I don't know how old I was, but I totally did this to shoes way back in the day. Okay, then, I don't know. That wasn't very cute, but mine aren't very cute anyway after wearing them a ton. Okay, but then you kind of knot it off your laces and they just kind of sit and then they won't, they won't go, you know, they won't loosen up any farther from where you've started your twisting at. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, I just think they are not real leather. They are faux leather, but they are very, very soft faux leather. So these aren't a stiff shoe. They're not a real structured tennis shoe or sneaker. I wouldn't say they're for any type of like performance, athletics, running, jogging like I wouldn't they're 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 a fashion comfortable fashion shoe and they're very soft okay look at this and you've got like the padding along here they're very very soft and flexible okay it's a faux leather you can see well that looks like leather down there I guess um faux leather both of them are the same the difference is distressing and non-distressing clean and not so clean a little bit of distressing to start off okay any other questions otherwise you guys um, did I help you? Did everyone? Bettina says, thanks for faux leather. Does anyone have questions? Um, questions, more questions about fit. I would say true to size to slightly feeling big. Okay. So a little bit big based on, um, the width and the flexible material because they aren't a stiff. Can you, can you guys see? They aren't a super stiff structured. Like they feel really good. Coming back, Sarah. <laughs> they feel really, really good and comfortable on the feet. Like they're just made to just, I don't know. I mean, I slipped mine on. I put my, I kept my laces loose. Um, I have a little bit of movement. They don't, they don't, like they don't, they don't, my heels don't come up when I walk, like come out. I do have a little bit of movement because I did not tighten them, but that's just my personal choice. Okay, um, Brittany, the moto jackets should be in the shipment that's arriving late this, later this week. They are, they will, they will launch on Friday. We hope they are along with these. All right, any other questions? I feel like this is like the world's shortest life, but I felt like I covered, I covered all the details about these two. Well, yeah. Someone asked if they need to change. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't looked at mine. Okay, these are my gray. I have not cleaned anything, okay? So this is going to kind of age. We wanted this to kind of, you guys can see, this is gonna scuff up. Um, I This is, I don't know, dirt or mud, <laughs> mud or something. And your sole, obviously, like a normal shoe, is just gonna get dirty. I would say you can easily take some soapy water and scrub this all off. This is like a, you know, it's faux leather, but it's a flat, so you could, I could clean these all up. I just, I like my shoes kind of showing age. I don't like them super clean. Um, so I don't spend, I don't, I don't have the time, <laughs> time to clean them. Okay. But, you, but I could, I could definitely clean these. You can tell they're well, they're well loved and well, well worn. <laughs> okay. Um, even some like rubbing alcohol. If you have like, I did have actually the girls, I had a scuff. I like had kicked something or like the edge of a door and I had a scuff on one of mine. I don't know where it is, but I had like a, a black scuff right here and um, Maddie just took that off with rubbing alcohol, right, Maddie? Or soap and water? Rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Any other questions? So there will be a launch on Friday. Um, we just wanted to get these. These are here and we'll be shipping immediately and we know they're gonna be popular. Um, so I wanted to get them out to you guys as fast. Oh yes, and Dana, yes, you could. Um, use a magic eraser too. I, I, I've heard that works with just like regular scuffing. Like if you kick the scuff, I had a, I had a black scuff on the top of mine that came out. Okay. Um, is there a way to do some, Jen says, is there a way to do some distressing on at home? Um, I, you, they're just going to age guys. I mean, they're going to, <laughs> they're going to look like that after wear, like they are. I mean, this is just normal wear and tear. I'm not trumping through mud or dirt. Well, maybe there <laughs> I was. But they're just, just from walking, just from, you know, you're going to get, here's a clean, here's a brand new one, clean, never been worn, and there's mine. 
so it is you know it is gonna so it is gonna show some age just like a normal normal shoe will would so whoever said if you want if you want them um to show age just start wearing them you're gonna get like a normal shoe a normal sole you guys that's just normal shoe business right okay Oh, Deanna, do you guys like this one? Was this, I feel like this Live Free New Body, was this one, I need to tell the designers. Was this one, do we like it for body and fit? I love this, I love this one. Deanna says, can you restock it? We can't restock it, but I'm thinking we can maybe swing out a graphic in it, maybe as early for spring, as early as spring. If you like this body, please tell us on the VIP page, okay? <laughs> because we never know. We don't know if, if that, if you liked the graphic, if you liked the fit, if you liked the fit and the graphic. Um, tell us. But yes, you guys, this plaid should be Friday. Okay, it comes in one or one, two or other colors. All right. I just feel like I'm randomly now and just telling you guys all secrets. <laughs> okay, so tell us on the VIP page so we can get that to the designers. If this live free tee, if you like the fit, the fabric, the material, or if you just like the graphic, or if you like both of those things together and see if we can spin something out in that. Well, you guys are all telling me on here, but tell me on the view, tell us on the VIP page so we can get that to the designers. Okay, that's it. That was 30 minutes holding up your time. There will be a launch on Friday. We just know, I know these shoes are going to sell fast and I wasn't even, I wanted to get them to you as soon as we could. Um, but um, I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.